Well, hello, my friends. I'm so glad you've joined us again today for Nuggets at Noon. And yesterday we talked about one verse in Luke chapter number 17, verse 32, very simple verse. And it says this, remember Jesus is talking and he said, remember Lot's wife. Now today I want to look at the context of that and uh, read the verse after that. And it says this in verse 33. Uh, whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life will keep it. Now we just kind of, um, just kind of uh, maybe imagined yesterday why Lot's wife looked back after she was uh, delivered from Sodom before it was destroyed, and we talked about that perhaps she was longing for friends that she'd left, or maybe possessions she'd quickly left behind, or. Maybe a lot of memories she had there that she was leaving behind, and maybe these were the reasons why she turned back and looked back. But today, when reading this scripture here about whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life will keep it, I began to look at that, and um, I found that this verse, or something very similar, is actually mentioned five times uh, in the Gospels, Jesus speaking each time. Three of those times are in the same setting, so that means that three different settings, this verse or something very similar is mentioned. The first time is in Matthew chapter 10, verse 39, and Jesus had sent the disciples out uh, two by two and, um, and sent them out to evangelize, to heal the sick, and so on. But he said this uh, towards the end of this chapter. He says that, that there's going to be divisions that come because of me, because of him, because of Jesus. There's going to be divisions. In other words, some of your friends are going to accept me and some are not. Some of your family is going to accept me and some are not. So in the context, again, of this scripture that we just read in chapter 17 uh, of Luke, uh, we're gonna we see divisions. When we look back at Lot's wife, we see that there was a division that took place. She had to leave her friends, and she had to leave maybe some other family members. I don't know, or at least we know that there was future sons-in-laws that she was leaving. And so there's divisions. Christ will bring a division. You're gonna have to make a decision whether you're gonna follow Christ or follow the old life, the old friends, and maybe sometimes you're, some of your family members, there's going to be a division. We also see a second time when Jesus made this statement. It was in taking up your cross and following me. That was the heading of the, of the context of this statement that is made. It's actually in Matthew 16, 25. You can also find it in Mark chapter 8, 35, and Luke chapter 9, verse 24. But it's taking up your cross and following me. In other words, there's going to be there's going to be a sacrifice when you choose to follow the Lord. In the same way, Lot's wife, she was making a sacrifice. She had to make that sacrifice, and she was not willing to give up. It seems that uh, uh, by looking at Jesus' statement in, in chapter 17, verse 32 and 33 and so on. But then when we get to Luke chapter 17, we see it for the third time he makes this statement, and it's concerning the last days, concerning the coming of the kingdom, concerning uh, before judgment day comes. And again, we can see this in, in Lot's wife. Just before uh, she uh, judgment was brought upon Sodom, she uh, was taken out, and yet uh, she refused, or in her heart, I believe that this was a heart issue. I really believe that uh, that that this was not something that just happened. I believe that there was a heart issue that there was that God was dealing with with Lot's wife. So we see, and I just wanted to read again for our sake: whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life will keep it. Remember, it's mentioned five times in the Gospels on three separate occasions. And I believe that you and I, even in the, 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 the culture in which we live and in the day in which we live and the, the difficulties in which we are facing, we've got to remember that we must follow Christ. We must follow him and give everything up if need be and follow him. Don't look back. Let's be obedient. Let's not be rebellious in our heart, 
but let's follow him. God bless you. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow here at Nuggets at Noon. Bye-bye.